then if possible then you should try to align the impacts projects goals skills everything in accordance this kind of an information is already mentioned on the job role you should try to optimize your resume corresponding to that any database related skills any db related projects if assigned to you core api layer stuff maybe you will be working on some infrastructure level projects and so on you can try to tailor your resume according to that whatever is the most important stuff most impactful work or project that you have done there are a lot of important metrics that you actually change you did a lot of optimization you directly impact the revenue so these kind of work experience is something that you should try to put on the top and you have worked with big data technologies like spark hadoop etc this will give the best impression for you whenever somebody sees your resume all together what i believe it's properly my opinion that a resume should be short which actually helps you to align your work and explain your work in the most impactful way so star stands for situation task action and result what were the things that you did in order to make those improvements putting any bullet points for your past work experience or the past project you do not want to put all of those 10 projects putting things in a certain way can change a lot of things when somebody actually looks at your resume and the star framework can be something that can really help you so before moving forward in the video i have an important announcement for you so if you are somebody who is actually willing to learn advanced backend technologies then this is going to be the right platform for you so at algo camp we have launched our new flagship lambda 4.0 advanced live backend development batch in which you are going to learn advanced backend technologies including fastify express js aws mongo dynamo db and what not this is going to be a power packed course in which we are going to take you from the very scratch very basics of backend technologies to the very advanced level by building a lot of interesting projects we are going to build projects like code sandbox clone we are going to build streaming app which which will include recorded movie streaming plus live streaming as well we are going to make applications like booking.com backend which is going to help you understand transactional capabilities integrations of payment gateways and many more all the important projects that we are going to cover in the course is going to be listed here and this is going to be an absolute live course where we are going to take live classes right and in these live classes we are going to do hands on coding experience to learn all the important advanced backend technologies you already know that backend is something that every important application needs and you can actually excel your software engineering career with these backend tech in the node js stack so what are you waiting for all the important links the complete syllabus curriculum all the details of the course is present in the description section below you can use the coupon code coming up here to get maximum discount off on the current price i'm really excited for the course i hope you guys are too and now let's get back to the video creating a tailored resume and using that to apply for your next tech job is one of the most critical thing that you have to have to do if you want to get your next tech job in this cutthroat market The problem with this complete process arises with the fact that there are very less number of jobs and so many people so many students so many aspirants actually applying for all of these jobs. Now in this very tough and competitive market you need to ensure that if you are applying for these roles then the resume that you are using is so optimized so tailored that it lands up you an interview call and post that it's all on you. Now in this particular video what we are going to do is we'll say assume that you want to apply for a back end engineering role so what are some of the key pointers that you have to keep in mind when you are actually preparing your resume when you are tailoring your resume and what are some of the key things that you have to have to put in your resume what are the things that you probably if you don't even put it's not going to matter much but the complete discussion is going to focus on the fact that how you can prepare your resume specific to a job that can help you land your next tech interview and then give you an opportunity to clear that as well So without any further ado let's just start but before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing to the channel we are going to put some really awesome content coming up ahead so stay tuned for that and without any further ado let's just start now see the most uh, i would say important thing that you should always try to do is that whatever type of role you are applying to you should try to put some effort you should try to put some time on your resume and try to modify the resume in according to the position that you are applying to for example let's say you are applying for a data engineering position then the projects the experiences the impacts that you have actually written in your resume should align more to a data engineering role if let's say you are applying for a backend engineering role specific to python 
then if possible then you should try to align the impacts projects goals skills everything in accordance to the corresponding tech stack that is python most of the time a lot of companies do mention what are their preferred tech stacks and if they don't even mention that you can definitely do a simple google search and get an idea on that but the main thing is that whenever somebody reads your resume they should immediately get an impression that this guy or girl will be a very good shot for the corresponding role and we should definitely try to evaluate them in order to get this kind of an assertion you need to ensure that your resume has all the relevant and right points with respect to the corresponding position for example if let's say sometimes what happens is that the position is very heavy on the infra side and let's say very heavy on the database in the databases and the infra side now if this kind of an information is already mentioned on the job role you should try to optimize your resume corresponding to that in your past experiences you should try to focus and emphasize more on those type of tasks which was more related to core db infra stuff right you should try to lay down projects that actually shows your skill set shows your actual uh, i would say um, endurance around the fact that any database related skills any db related projects if assigned to you you are going to excel in that you need to try to modify your resume in according to that now if let's say you are applying for a backend engineering role in backend engineering role there will be a lot of different different aspects for which you might be hired for example in companies like google microsoft position will be like a general software engineering position but inside that maybe you will be working on some data engineering stuff maybe you will be working on the core api layer stuff maybe you will be working on some infrastructure level projects and so on so whatever is the position actually asking you for you try to update your resume corresponding to that it's not like you have to put all the possible skills that you have even heard of it's not like that you should only put those skills for which you can give the answers and the skills are more relevant to the position as well for example if you know react js that's good but putting react js in a resume that is going to be applied for a back end engineering role might not make a lot of sense instead of that you can try to put something else you can maybe try to put some projects that you made for example let's say you made a complete end to end implementation of a simple uh, i would say caching layer that can be very easily integrated on any particular database or let's say you tried to create an orm of yourself any specific project that you actually created which aligns to the corresponding uh, i would say role for the company try to put those instead of putting some irrelevant uh, irrelevant information and irrelevant project that will not be very much aligned to the corresponding role you can try to tailor your resume according to that this is the most important thing that you have to do don't don't be lazy don't be like that you have one resume which is a very generic resume and you are just using that resume to apply everywhere that is not going to work if it's a front end position your resume should be more focused more aligned and more oriented towards front end projects front end skill sets front end challenges front end related impacts and so on this is something that you have to always keep in mind now the most important thing that you can do in order to optimize your resume is to make sure that whatever is the most important stuff most impactful work or project that you have done you try to put that on the top and probably on the left side if it's a two column resume why i'm saying is that most of the recruiters spend very very less time probably even 20 seconds or 30 seconds on a single resume in a 20 second view you need to, you would like to ensure that whenever somebody sees your resume for such short span of time they see the most impactful work done by you right there might be some uh, i would say work that you have done let's say in your internship that moved the needle very very high there are a lot of important metrics that you actually changed you did a lot of optimization you directly impacted the revenue some work might be there so whatever is that kind of work you should try to put probably on the top for example some people have very um, i would say interesting and impressive projects in their portfolio try to put that on the top if projects is not the best suit that you have in your resume but instead you have done very good work experience you have some very challenging projects under your belt that you worked on for an organization right you led some projects you created impact on some projects so these kind of work experience is something that you should try to put on the top and if both of these two things are not your i would say best thing then maybe the skill set that you have for example let's say the position the software engineering position requires you to have knowledge of big data technologies and you have worked with big data technologies like spark hadoop etc so you can put your skill set on the top so you need to orient your resume in a way that whatever is most impactful most relevant and you are most confident with you try to put that on the top this will give the best impression for you whenever somebody sees your resume all together now one problematic scenario that a lot of people have is that they try to write a lot of things in your resume in their resume 
Now, what I believe, it's properly my opinion that a resume should be short, concise, to the point and impactful. Whenever you are actually listing down any project, whenever you are listing down any, uh, I would say, past experience, you do not want to write some general information about it. You should try to write things in kind of like a star related format. What is a star? It's a framework which actually helps you to align your work and explain your work in the most impactful way. Right. What does this star stands for? So star stands for situation, task, action and result that what the situation was. That means what the project you were working on. On that particular project, what were your specific tasks that you actually worked with? Right. What were the things that you did in order to make those improvements? And then finally, as a result, what was the final impact? If you keep all of these four pillars or four aspects of the STAR framework in mind, and whenever you are actually putting any bullet points for your past work experience or the past project, then you'll be able to write some very impactful work. Right. And you need to distinguish that. Let's say you did 10 projects in a company. You do not want to put all of those 10 projects among those 10 projects, maybe the top three, the most impactful projects, maybe for which you were awarded something for which you actually created significant revenue impact. You did significant optimizations at some point of time. You can try to put that. So putting things in a certain way can change a lot of things when somebody actually looks at your resume. It's not like you, you just want to do the bare minimum that you have to put a project. So you just put one project and just put some basic generic stuff about that. You have to put a work experience. So you, so you just put some basic lines that, okay, I worked on this. I use this tech stack and so on. Instead, try to write things in a more impactful way and the STAR framework can be something that can really help you with. Now, one biggest problem that I see a lot of people actually have is that in the skills section, they put all the languages, all the frameworks, all the databases that they probably even work for with like for an hour, right? You maybe went to some, some internship for a month or two, you worked on some project on a specific tech stack and now you feel that that tech stack is your skill set. Yes, that tech stack is your skill set, but probably you do not want to put that in your resume. Why? Because the moment you put like a lot of technologies as a skill in your resume, you open the doors for the interviewers to ask you questions across all of those skill sets, right? You do not want to increase your problems, right? You always want to ensure that the skill sets that you have written are those in which, let's say, if somebody asks you 10 odd questions, then at least seven to eight, you are able to answer confidently, right? You have done significant work with that particular skill set. You have actually made good number of projects, contributed to good number of projects. You know a lot of internals of those particular skill set. For example, let's say if you put database like MySQL. Now, interestingly, you should know that, okay, how internally things work with MySQL, what are different aspects of MySQL, in what kind of situations MySQL is good. You should have worked with MySQL maybe in some personal projects or maybe in some, uh, I would say, work experience that let's say you did some internship or you were working as a full-time engineer. So whatever you are putting should have some sense, should have some significance. There should be some work related to that skill set that can back the idea that, okay, this is one of your core skill sets. You should be able to answer most of the questions that are actually asked. You do not want to be in a position where you just wrote a technology and you didn't realize that, okay, if somebody will ask some very hard questions around that, you won't be able to answer them. So this is something, and I will believe this is the biggest blunder that you should always and always try to avoid in your resume altogether. And that's it for this particular video guys. These are some of the most important things that I believe everybody should keep in mind, right? A lot of these things should be something that you already know. And I believe there must be some points that would have, would will, will be very helpful for you for your next job application. A lot of students are nowadays complaining to me that even after getting referrals, they are not getting the callbacks. A very, very important problem comes around in resume. So I believe it will be a, it will be a good discussion that you can always try to keep these four to five pointers in your mind before you are preparing your resume and then using that resume to do your next application. If you have any thoughts, if you have any points, if you feel that there are some more interesting pointers that everybody else should also keep in mind and there is something that worked for you and might work for others as well, do let me know in the comment section below. I would be happy to read all of your thoughts and comments all together. That being said, let's wrap this particular video here. We are going to meet soon in the next set of videos where we are going to continue our discussion on tech and career. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. I am Sanket Singh, signing off.